took me a good seven years to be able to sing up in the tenor range. Um, but as you can hear, I'm not one of those kind of little tenors. You know, I'm, I'm more of a uh, wake up and I'm a bass. So I'm still waking up, as you can hear. <laughs> oh, So you can hear the the yeah, difference, and it just it depends on the on the mouth resonance. But um, as I said, that this is one of the most interesting things to me because uh, it it helped me learn and figure out um, the, the the minute changes that you have to have, especially in the really really high stuff. Because mids and lows was never ever a problem for me when I was a, a younger singer, and then everything just felt like. I was just faking everything up above. And I felt like Mickey Mouse, basically. But then um, I started getting into overtone singing and started realizing that the, the minute changes that you have, especially in the higher register, uh, as with this Dupre, which is some of the highest written music, you, you can <clears throat> very slightly manipulate tiny, tiny little uh, bits in order to find a, find a root into your, to your high notes. Mm -hmm. very important part of singing is visualizing and painting these kind of ideas of what you're doing because uh, uh, otherwise um, it just all becomes mechanics and you don't have any feeling to your instrument but but I think there's the, there's the side of science and art that has to converge in order to become a really good singer so well that's that's my hope anyways and that's what I'm teaching other people so